Well, I think it's time for us to learn how to create a completely, completely customizable countdown timer clock or a count up timer clock. What do you think? You want to learn how? Come on, let's go ahead and learn how to create it. Hi, this is Naomi with the Top Shelf VA channel, your place for creativity and inspiration for business and life. I think it's time for us to learn how to create our own completely customizable countdown timer clock or count up timer clock. Now you're going to be able to create this probably on any platform, video editing platform that you use using similar steps. We're going to learn how to do this in Camtasia. You can learn how to create this completely on your own or in a few minutes I will show you how you can download some of the files that I have already created for you. So let's go ahead and take the first steps. The first step is, as always, to save your new project with a name. Let's call this Green Screen Countdown. Make sure your project settings canvas size is at 1920 by 1080. I usually produce my videos and assets for a 1920 by 1080 dimension. We will change the canvas color to a bright green such as 2AFF00. Click on Apply. We are going to make this clock as large as possible to easily size later. The next step is to select a heavy bold font for our numbers and create the clock, which I have already done. Let's take a look. I selected Arial Black and made the font size approximately 610. The gray needs to be 7F, 7F, 7F to work the best for customizing. You may ask how did I make the font larger when normally we can't go higher than 500. Here is the trick. You just need to be careful once it is set. Uncheck Auto Resize Text. Change the font size to 500. Adjust the boundary walls to be around the font. Copy and paste this text annotation to the track above. Group together. Then adjust the group to a larger size. Ungroup to check the font size. You may have to fiddle a little with it to make it close to 610. Regroup and resize if needed. Once it is close to 610, ungroup and remove the second text annotation. The only thing is you cannot change the size now. The minute you do, it reverts to 500. Simply copy and paste to maintain that font size. Okay, let's get back to the clock itself. Track one will be your minutes. Track two will be your seconds. I wanted to make sure I have plenty of options for timing. So this is a 10 minute countdown clock. For the countdown, start with 10 minutes and the colon to separate minutes from seconds. For the seconds, start with double zero. Then each second, make sure it is exactly a second long. After 10 minutes, create 0, 9, colon for 9 minutes. You will make this the length of the minute. You can create each second by creating the first double zero, copy it, then paste, and change it to 59. Copy, paste, change it to 58. Copy, paste, change it to 57, etc. Until you come to the end of the first minute. Once you have the full set of seconds, you can highlight them all and copy at playhead for the next set of seconds. Then add your next minute, 0, 8, etc. Once you have all the minutes and seconds completed, go back to your project settings and adjust to a custom height and width with only a small amount of spacing around the numbers. Make sure the lock is unlocked. For this clock, I'm changing the width to 1850 and height to 500. Click Apply. Then we'll render the clock as a MP4 video file. Click Export, Custom Production, New Custom Production, MP4 Smart Player, Next, make sure Produce with Controller is off, Next, Next. The production name should be Green Screen Countdown. Save in the folder location you want. Uncheck Organize Produced Files in Subfolders if you want, then finish and wait for the file to fully render. 
Click on Finish. Save the file by keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus S or File, Save. For the count up clock, you would do the same steps except in reverse order. Now it's time to create our completely customizable clock. I will tell you how you can download these files and some library assets to help save you some time. I have a brand new Buy Me A Coffee page at buymeacoffee.com top shelf VA. The link is in the description below. If you want to keep going with the training and do everything yourself, that's perfectly fine. But if you'd like to throw me a little support, you can click on the support button and buy me a pizza. I don't drink coffee. I don't drink alcohol, but I love pizza. Learning how to create this on your own is really simple to do. We'll continue with the training. If you want to become a member, all members receive all members only downloads for this video and all future videos for the duration of their membership. Now, first time members, if you become a first time member, you will go through an invitation process that I've set up after and after that, you'll have full access to the downloads. So let's go on to the rest of the training. Open a new project, save the project as timer counting down. OK. A couple of extremely quick steps for Camtasia 2019 and earlier users, then everyone will be on the same playing field. For Camtasia 2019 and earlier users, load the MP4 of the countdown clock to your media bin. If you are a Camtasia 2020 user and are not using the files that are provided to the Buy Me A Coffee members, do the same thing. Load the MP4 of the countdown clock. Add to the timeline at Playhead. Go to the Visual Effects and add Remove Color. Click on the drop-down arrow next to Color, select the Color Eyedropper, and select the Green. Set the Tolerance to 25% and the Softness to 25%. Now for Camtasia 2020 users who have downloaded the library files, simply go to the library where you stored the Countdown Timer asset and add to Timeline at Playhead. Let me ungroup this for now so you can see what I did. Camtasia 2019 and early users or Camtasia 2020 users creating this on your own, follow these steps. Go to Visual Effects and add Colorize, and for now change the color to white, add a drop shadow, and set the offset to 10, opacity to 60%, and blur to 2. On the lower track, track 1, add the track if you need to, add an annotation, shapes, Style is bold, and select a rectangle to add to the track. Adjust it so it is around the clock. Choose the solid color you want and add a border color with a thickness of 25. Now highlight both tracks and group them together. If you are in Camtasia 2019 or earlier, save this to your library. If you are a Camtasia 2020 user creating your own library asset, Give it a name, select the library you want to store it in, and this step is important. Select Use Visible Size, then OK. Do the same for the Count Up Timer if you're doing a Count Up Timer. Now let's demonstrate a few ways to use the timer. First, let's look at various ways you could customize the clock. We'll do a straightforward customization change. Let's open the group and change the colorize of the countdown clock to any color you want. I'll choose a yellow. Then select the shape and change the border to yellow and the shape fill to purple. I'll close the group and adjust the size. Then place the clock where I want it on the canvas. Here are some other ways I customize the countdown timer. Let's see how this works. Let me open this group. I loaded the library asset, then split it so I have only one minute and removed the rectangle shape. I then added three tracks below it and added a circle annotation for the full length of the minute. The first, white. The second, a different color, larger than the white. A third, another color in the size between the white and the second color. I then added a radial wipe transition to the two larger circles and extended them the full width of the shape. I want the 0000, 000, 000 to show a little longer, so I exported a frame and added it to the end for one second in length. 
I then grouped everything together. I'm going to crop the group to the actual size of the clock. So I don't have to create anything. I will save this to my library and call it double circle countdown. If I want to add to the clock, say maybe make it two minutes, then all I have to do is ungroup and make the timeline adjustments to the length of the timer and shapes, then regroup. Here's another example. I have this countdown timer moving across the bottom of the canvas, and when it reaches one minute, it will turn a different color. Let's open the group. For the full group inside, I added an animation, the full length of the time, moving from one end to the other. Open that group, and we see I simply added a one second animation at the one minute mark, then changed the colors of the timer. I also exported a 0000 frame and added it at the end for one second. I like that, so I will add it to my library and call it Moving Lower Third Countdown. One more. This is a simple 30 second countdown time using the timer as a mask. I simply clipped the timer until the seconds were all that appeared, added a video below that, I made the timer in alpha mat, manually added an animation to each that grew as it counted down, then grouped both of these tracks into one track to keep the map feature. I added the one additional second of the video to the end of the map group. Below this, I added the background scratch film, which I downloaded from the TechSmith assets for Camtasia library, and grouped all of that together. Well, there you have it. You have created your own customizable countdown timer clock and count up timer clock. If you have found this training beneficial and would like to throw me a little support my way, feel free to buy me a coffee slash pizza with the link in the description below. Oh, and I haven't forgotten those couple other bonuses. For all my buy me a coffee members who have Camtasia 2020 or future versions, I have added the double circle uh, countdown and the moving lower third countdown library assets to the zipped file for my members. If you haven't done so as of yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe notification bell, and shoot, a thumbs up wouldn't hurt either. Until we meet again, have a wonderful day.